The Foreign Minister of Foreign Affairs of Cyprus, the Honorable Rata Gazakomarkolis. Thank you, first of all, for the honor of joining us here in the Institute for Cultural Diplomacy in Berlin and for your lecture and for your discussion with us today. It's always my pleasure. I would like to ask you some very important uh, questions and I would like to start with the first one. That would be um, the Academy for Cultural Diplomacy organizes a number of uh, international conferences bringing together individuals from very diverse background and establishing an intercultural dialogue. Uh, how do you think, how can cultural diplomacy help to build trust and uh, allow discussions on such global key issues as, for example, sustainable development, human rights and education? Uh, let me say first uh, that uh, I am very proud to uh, be a part of the Institute for Cultural Diplomacy as uh, one of the members of the advisory board. I'm also a part of the Academy and uh, I have always been uh, a firm uh, supporter and a very staunch supporter of what the Institute for Cultural Diplomacy has been doing for the past 15 years. I have uh, attended a number of uh, conferences organized by the Institute and the Academy and uh, I have witnessed, uh, as I have witnessed uh, yesterday and today, the impact uh, that these conferences uh, have uh, on the participants, uh, but also through your website, uh, through the discussion with um, uh, the conveying of uh, these messages. Um, how important um, the dialogue um, uh, that uh, uh, is taking part uh, within these conferences, how important it is for people, first of all, uh, to uh, learn about new issues. I had very good discussions uh, today with some of the participants uh, who were really thrilled to be a part of this uh, conference because, first of all, they have a chance uh, to meet uh, with very experienced people, prime ministers, former presidents, former foreign ministers, uh, and uh, to uh, have a dialogue with them. It's, uh, it's a very important uh, uh, avenue of uh, learning and communicating. So what the Institute for Cultural Diplomacy is really doing is uh, something unique. Uh, something that um, I have not seen taking place uh, in other uh, foundations, institutions uh, and other organizations. Uh, and I do feel that um, uh, the issues that, um, that uh, the Institute is tackling, human rights, sustainable development, there is today um, this economic forum discussing very important issues. Um, there is going to be an impact uh, on um, uh, especially young people because a lot of the participants are young people from different parts of the world. So this by itself, uh, by participation and the ongoing dialogue uh, is uh, very, very helpful in bringing people together. And uh, what we really need is to create trust and uh, to create understanding, mutual understanding between different people from different countries. Well, I see. Um, then my next question would be, what role do you think uh, cultural diplomacy can play in Cyprus? And uh, what are some ways in which country can improve its cultural relations internally? Okay. In Cyprus, uh, we, uh, we do have a long-standing problem uh, that um, dates back uh, several decades. Uh, one may say that uh, this problem has started in the uh, 60s, uh, but the real division of the country uh, started in 1974 uh, with the uh, Turkish invasion of, uh, of my country. Um, in Cyprus, we, have, uh, we are blessed really to have uh, a panorama of uh, different cultural uh, communities, communities that come from different ethnic and cultural backgrounds because of the history of, uh, of the island. We have uh, a majority um, a Greek Cypriot community that speak Greek. Uh, they uh, have um, cultural, Greek cultural heritage and they are Greek Orthodox. We have um, a, a, a community of Turkish Cypriots 
which is uh, about 18% of the population, a quite large community uh, of Turkish Cypriots. They speak Turkish and uh, they uh, are Muslim by the religion. And then we have smaller groups, but we have um, a distinct uh, cultural identity of Armenians, Maronites and Latins, which are the Catholic, uh, the remnants of the uh, uh, Lusinians and the Venetians. Uh, so uh, these, um, uh, these communities uh, uh, have been living together, uh, peacefully together for many centuries. Uh, but unfortunately, uh, the uh, events of uh, 1974, the Turkish invasion, uh, and the um, consequences of that invasion uh, resulted in the separation of the two communities, the forcible separation of the two communities. And uh, since uh, then, uh, communication between the two communities has been very limited. So the Institute for Cultural Diplomacy can uh, really play a very important role um, and I have been uh, discussing with uh, my good friend Mark Donfried ways how the Institute of Cultural Diplomacy could be helpful. I think one way would uh, be to uh, bring uh, young people together in these uh, leadership, uh, young leadership uh, initiatives, uh, bring people together uh, from all the communities uh, of Cyprus, celebrate their um, commonalities, uh, and uh, see how this young generation of Cypriots uh, could uh, um, learn uh, how to live together and how they can build a better Cyprus, a better future, uh, a united Cyprus with all the communities uh, living together. So the Institute has a very important role to play uh, in this uh, respect. Okay, so then how do you think, uh, can actually Cyprus emerge as a leader in the Mediterranean? And what strengths has the country itself uh, to achieve this goal? Uh, Cyprus is um, the uh, only country in the eastern part of the Mediterranean, uh, which is um, a member state of the European Union. Uh, of course, Greece is uh, a member of the European Union, but uh, I'm, I'm talking about uh, the uh, very eastern part of the Mediterranean. We have um, uh, very good, uh, excellent relations with all our, the countries in the, uh, in the area. Um, right uh, now, when we speak, uh, our president uh, is in Egypt, uh, and uh, at the end of this month, uh, he will be visiting um, Israel. Uh, we have excellent relations also with uh, Lebanon uh, and the Palestinian Authority. So Cyprus, as a member of the European Union, in that eastern corner of the Mediterranean, with this uh, um, network of relations uh, with the countries of the uh, Middle East and the, and the eastern Mediterranean, can play a very important role. We have already been playing that role of a bridge between the European Union and the countries of the region, the countries of the Middle East. Uh, now, with the discovery of uh, hydrocarbon um, uh, resources uh, in the Eastern Mediterranean, uh, there is a possibility, and this is what we are trying to promote now, cooperation between all countries uh, in the region who have such resources, like uh, Egypt, uh, like uh, Lebanon, uh, Israel, and the Palestinian Authority. So. Uh, we are trying to promote um, and create this core of uh, cooperation between the countries of, uh, of the East Mediterranean. Okay, thank you. And then my final question would be um, that over the last, uh, last uh, 15 years, the ICD had worked uh, to extend uh, such important um, researches, programs and pra uh, practices in the field of cultural diplomacy and uh, actually created the Academy of Cultural Diplomacy. And uh, that is also the f first institution that is, uh, um, has higher education in the field of cultural diplomacy. Uh, how do you think, how significant is it to have uh, cultural diplomacy as a recognized uh, academic field? I think it's extremely important. Um, uh, we all know that uh, uh, the field of cultural diplomacy is still, uh, uh, I wouldn't say at its infancy, but um, it's at the maturity uh, stage. Uh, and uh, I think we all need, uh, all countries uh, need uh, to uh, 
look at this uh, new discipline and uh, see the merits uh, of uh, recognizing it as, uh, as uh, a full academic uh, discipline. Uh, in Cyprus, um, we have initiated um, one of our private universities, the, the University of Nicosia, is uh, initiating a dialogue uh, with um, the um, Institute for Cultural Diplomacy and the Academy uh, in order to um, uh, create a joint program, a joint academic program, uh, for, um, uh, to promote uh, cultural diplomacy in the context of a master's and PhD uh, degree. Uh, other universities also are very interested, um, uh, and we had recently a visit of Mark Donfried, Donfried in Cyprus. He had uh, met uh, also the Minister of Education and uh, other ministers uh, of the Republic of Cyprus, and uh, there was a very, very good dialogue about ways how uh, to promote more cooperation between Cyprus and the Institute for Cultural Diplomacy, but uh, also uh, between uh, the universities of Cyprus and the Institute and the Academy for Cultural Diplomacy. Okay, thank you once more. On behalf of the whole Institute of Culture and Diplomacy, I would like to thank you for your answering. And uh, that was a great pleasure for me, and I wish you a pleasant stay here. It was here. a great pleasure for me as well. Thank you very much. Thank you. All the best.